Now, the government is in the process of shifting its accounting system to an accrual-based format from the cash-based system it has long been using. Accrual accounting is expected to help reduce pending bills significantly. And Alex Mwangi reports on the revelation of this shift with the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, now joining the Office of the Auditor General in publicly declaring support for the adoption of accrual accounting. The issue of pending bills has proved to be problematic for both the national and county governments, even though significant attention has been channeled towards them in a bid to address that problem. ISPAC has now provided a raft of solutions aimed at addressing pending bills. It's high time the government moved away from cash-based accounting to accrual accounting, and this is the discussions that we have been having the whole morning, and even the, C the PS responded that the National Treasury working to us a roadmap and he has promised us that by the year 2023 next year we shall have a clear roadmap to migration from a cash-based accounting to a crew account for obvious reasons. Why is it that we don't have pending bills in private sector? So any contract that will have been entered into uh, maybe towards the end of the year as in a normal entity in a private sector, those will be carried forward and paid in the subsequent year. So the private sector, they carry that forward and becomes a liability that is paid in the following year. But not for the government that is carried out as a pending bill that needs to also be allocated resources to be able to be paid. The challenge that is there with the cash accounting, you might not be able to know what are all those pending bills at the end of the financial year. To help eliminate pending bills, the Institute is calling on government entities to ensure strict adherence to the Public Procurement and Disposal Act of 2015. It also cites the need to develop a database of all who are owed dues by counties, ministries, departments and agencies and assess the multiplier effect to the economy. We support the recommendations by the control of budget, and this one, I would invite you to look at the reports of the control of budget, which says that these spending bills should be a fast charge on the revenues of the county government. But before you start paying anything else, and if you have moved from one year to the other, let you settle any pending bills that have been brought forward to the financial year. And now that we are going into this transition from one you know, county government to the other, especially for those existing governors, <coughs> It's our considered view that all pending bills should be settled before handover to the new county governments. ISPAC has declared its support for legislation aimed at tackling pending bills. We support uh, the bill that is before the Senate, the prompt payment bill that is uh, sponsored by CPF Aria. I think she's a nominated senator and it has a raft of you know, remedies <coughs> including sanctions and penalties for late settlement of uh, any pending bill, including it goes even uh, to the private sector. Being an election year, however, means that such legislation faces an uphill task to become law. Uh, Alex Mwangi, NTV.